Well, hello again, and now we are getting into the bones of our forearm, I mean, namely the radius and our ulna. If we start with the radius, uh, it's on the lateral side, and we will see that uh, the radius has the head, neck, and the shaft. Um, right under the neck of the radius, we will see a rough area here that will be your radial tuberosity. That's an important attachment for a very large muscle. It's called biceps brachii. That is where the biceps brachii tendon is inserted. If we go all the way down towards uh, the distal end, we will see the styloid process of your radius. Styloid process of, the, of your radius. It's a very common place to get fractured, by the way. Uh, we call that fracture, Cole's fracture. If we look at the medial aspect here, we will see a notch that is um, created by, or a depression that is created by the head of the radius pushing against, the head of the ulna pushing against the radius and making to you what we call ulnar facet, ulnar facet. Um, that gets us to the ulna. We're going to start with the top going down again. We will have the ulna. Uh, the proximal end looks like a hook. Uh, we call this part here the olecranon. That part is your coronoid process, the coronoid process of your ulna. Olecranon, coronoid process. Again, underneath it, we will have a tubercle here called ulnar tubercle, that is where your brachialis muscle will insert. So on the radial side, we, will, we would have a tuberosity we called radial tuberosity. That was where your um, biceps brachii inserted. And over here, we had, sometimes we refer to not the, the ulnar, um, tuberosity, but um, uh, sub-coronoid uh, or infracoronoid tuberosity, because that's, or the coronoid tuberosity, because it's below the coronoid process. Um, if we go down with the shaft to the distal end, we will see also on the ulnar side we have the styloid process over here, and we have here the head of your radius. If we go back to the proximal end, you will see that the head of your, the radius uh, is making a, a depression or an impression here over um, the coronoid process. And that depression over here, we will refer to as radial notch because it's caused by the head of the radius. Again, there are important muscles that attach here. Um, let's start with the radius. Uh, we will see uh, over um, over the radial tuberosity here. We agreed that it's your um, the tendon of your biceps brachii would insert itself over here. Um, down here would be the origin for uh, a fairly large muscle called flexor pollicis longus. Flexor pollicis longus and the, the flexor digitorum superficialis will take an origin around this part here. So flexor pollicis longus will be originated from here. Over here we will have two insertions, one of them on the anterior aspect here and that is the insertion point for or the insertion for um, almost a rectangular muscle um, in the forearm that is called uh, pronator quadratus. Pronator quadratus and the insertion will be down here. Almost above the styloid process in this area, we will have a very important muscle uh, that inserts itself here. Uh, we call that muscle brachioradialis, brachioradialis. On the ulnar side, we have important muscles that we need to remember. One of them inserts itself into the coronoid tuberosity, the coronoid tuberosity or the ulnar tuberosity here, 
and that is your uh, brachialis muscle. The brachialis muscle inserts itself here. Um, there is an important muscle that takes origin here, that is your flexor digitorum profundus. Remember, the flexor digitorum superficialis was on the other side here, coming from the radius. The flexor digitorum profundus will be taking origin here. If we go to the distal end, as you remember, the insertion for the pronator quadratus was here. The origin for the pronator quadratus was round, round here in, on the ulna. If we go to the posterior aspect, because there is uh, an important muscle that I need to uh, demonstrate to you where it's inserted, it's around here, and that would be the tendon for your triceps muscle. The tendon for your triceps muscle. All right? Um, that covers our muscles of uh, our bones of the uh, forearm, and we will go from that point to the bones of the hand. Let's bring this in. Um, in the hand, we're going to have um, 